Welcome to the San Francisco Solid Waste Transfer and Recycling Center, operated by Recology San Francisco. Most people call us the dump, but the correct term is transfer station, because everything received here is sent somewhere else, including recyclables, materials that can be composted, and residual materials, which is what most people refer to as garbage or refuse. Our facility includes the Organics Annex, the Transfer Station, or PIT, the IMRF, a sorting facility for construction and demolition materials, the public recycling and disposal area, the household hazardous waste facility, our art studio, and a three-acre sculpture garden. In San Francisco, we have a three-bin collection system. Bottles, cans, clean paper, and rigid plastics go in the blue bin for recycling. Food scraps, plants, and yard trimmings go in the green bin for compost collection. And the black bin is for non-hazardous materials that can't be recycled or composted at this time. The blue and green bin system is our largest recycling program. Recology Sunset Scavenger services the bins in San Francisco's large residential neighborhoods. Recology Golden Gate serves the Financial District, South of Market, North Beach, and the Marina. A truck with two compartments picks up the residuals in the recycling. A metal wall that runs through the body of the truck keeps these waste streams separated at all times. A second truck picks up the materials that can be composted. The recycling in your blue bin goes to Recycle Central, a large sorting facility we operated on Pier 96. Using modern recycling equipment in combination with hand sorting by recycling workers, we separate materials delivered to Recycle Central into 16 different commodities. We bail these materials and ship them to both domestic and foreign manufacturing facilities, such as foundries, glass plants, and paper mills. Materials from your black bin go to the transfer station building on Tunnel Avenue. Transfer stations are places where residuals are temporarily dropped off before going to a landfill. Since there is no landfill in San Francisco, we transport San Francisco's residuals to a landfill outside of Livermore. That's 58 miles east of San Francisco. One of our large tractor trailers can hold the same amount of refuse as three or four regular trucks. The transfer station building was constructed in 1970. It has three levels. After neighborhood route trucks pick up the residuals, they empty from the top level into a huge pit, which is 15 feet deep. The floor of the pit is the middle level. A bulldozer runs over the material to break up the large pieces and compact them. Then the bulldozer pushes the refuse to one end of the pit and over the edge into the top of a transfer trailer that is parked below at the bottom level. When the truck is full, it drives to the landfill and tips so that all the refuse slides out. Everything from your black bin goes in the pit and then to the landfill. These materials don't get sorted and they don't get recycled. The food scraps, plants, and yard trimmings we collect from the green bin are handled separately. This compostable material comes from restaurants, coffee shops, and grocery stores, and residential properties including homes and apartment buildings. The compost collection trucks unload in the organics annex. This material is then loaded into transfer trailers used only for compostable materials and taken to modern composting facilities owned and operated by Recology. At these sites, food scraps, food soiled paper, and plants are ground up, placed in aerated rows, and covered with reusable tarps. The material begins to compost within hours and becomes finished compost in about six to eight weeks. Compost returns nutrients to the soil and helps protect topsoil. Most of our compost goes to local vineyards and farms. These vineyards and farms use compost to grow cover crops that sequester carbon deep in the soil. When people build, renovate, or knock down buildings, we collect and recycle the wood, metal, concrete, sheetrock, and cardboard. Construction companies rent a debris box to hold these materials, which we sort in our IMRF, which means Integrated Materials Recovery Facility. Inside, a loader scoops up construction materials and dumps these materials onto a conveyor belt. The shaker screen removes the small materials such as small rocks and dirt, which are used as alternative daily cover at a landfill. Next, the materials pass by recycling workers who each pull off different types of material. They separate cardboard, wood, metal, concrete, rigid plastic, and sheetrock. The cardboard is taken to our recycling plant at Pier 96, where it is made into bells and later shipped to paper mills. Metal goes to local scrapyards and then to foundries, where it is made into new metal products. The concrete and bricks are crushed and used to construct road base. 
The gypsum found in sheetrock can be added to compost as a soil amendment or can be recycled and made into new sheetrock. Anything that cannot be recycled is taken by the conveyors into the pit. Materials sent to the pit are not sorted and will be taken to the landfill. Our facility also includes an area for the public to bring in their own materials for disposal. Often referred to as the dump, the public disposal and recycling area is used by customers who are often building contractors, landscapers, and businesses, but anyone can bring in a car or a truckload of materials they want to discard. Customers check in at our scale and weigh in, then after discarding their materials they stop at our second scale to weigh out. Their fees are based on the difference between how much the truck weighed before and after they dumped. At the public disposal area, we save large items that can be reused from going to the landfill. This program, called Perfectly Good, directs furniture and other items that are in good condition to a network of thrift stores. Approximately 10,000 items a year are saved from the landfill through this program. Certain things cannot be dumped into the pit, the IMRF, or the public disposal area because they are potentially hazardous. These are things such as fluorescent lights, household batteries, unwanted paint, used motor oil, home cleaning products, and gardening supplies. Residents of San Francisco can take these items to our Household Hazardous Waste Collection Facility or call for a special pickup. Many of these items are recycled on site, including most of our latex paint, which we give to schools and community groups. We have sent several container loads to other countries like Mexico, Mali, El Salvador, Fiji, Tonga, and Zambia, where Recology employees work closely with local communities to paint schools, health clinics, and other public buildings. The rest is sent to sites in the United States that specialize in handling specific materials such as household batteries and oil-based paint. In order to discourage seagulls from gathering at the transfer station, Recology employs a falconer to bring trained hawks to the facility each day. They don't attack or hurt the seagulls, but their presence does scare and intimidate the gulls. This is the most ecologically sound way to discourage seagulls from eating or transporting refuse away from the facility and results in a healthier bird population and a cleaner local environment. Recology has adopted innovative approaches when it comes to running our facility and getting the word out about resource conservation and recycling. We host a one-of-a-kind art and education program which was implemented in 1990. Recology San Francisco's education program provides tours for over 5,000 children and adults annually, and the Artists in Residence program enables Bay Area artists to make work from what people in San Francisco throw away. Artists are selected annually through a jurying process, work in an on-site studio for approximately four months, and have access to materials in the public disposal and recycling area. Artwork is presented in public exhibitions, including downtown office buildings and galleries, and is also located in our sculpture garden on the hill behind the transfer station. The program is a unique way to get people to think about their own garbage and the environment. Reducing, reusing, recycling, and composting are simple things we can all do every day and are truly effective at helping protect the environment. We hope you have enjoyed learning about our company. We have worked hard to help San Francisco surpass its recycling goal of 75% and we are now looking to help the city achieve its goal of zero waste.